course put the legal practice behind me, but the progressive political and social justice um, uh, concepts and, 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 and values that I draw from the work that I had um, infiltrates everything I do artistically. Carl Flink was a dancer before he became a lawyer, before he returned to dance. It's all come full circle for him. He grew up in Minneapolis, graduated from the U, went to New York to dance for the Limon Dance Company for 10 years, and then moved west to go to Stanford Law School, came back as a lawyer with Farmers Legal Action Group, but he never stepped off the dance floor. In fact, Carl chairs the dance and theater program at the University of Minnesota, and he also heads up his black label movement dance group, we're in rehearsal with him right now as he's preparing for a new piece at the Southern Theater. And we're going to talk with Carl about how his artistic life merges with his life in uh, social and civic engagement on this edition of Three Minute Egg. <laughs> requires a lot more specificity, delineated thinking, and, 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 and my dance world is much more open-ended. I liked trying to balance those pieces, but where the seams really started to show in my life is when my um, now six-year-old daughter was born. I, there just was too many things on the plate, and so I made a decision to leave um, the legal profession, and I came and was hired as a professor here at the, at, at the University of Minnesota. Because my life has ping-ponged back and forth between those places so often, I, I feel like I'm, I'm acutely sensitive to that, that boundary crossing. And it's one that I, that I've, I, in some ways, I'm trying with this piece to reconcile. That's what I'm trying to get at in some ways with field songs, is this idea of kind of urban timing and rural timing, and how they collide and how they don't necessarily match up. Um, you know, I'm also trying to move to a place where I'm looking at um, the kind of inexorable expansion of, of cityscapes that are t taking away the rural countryside, and not judging it, but just saying, this is happening, how would it affect a group of people in, as that pressure is kind of mounting on them? I still harbor a dream of doing pro bono work, of possibly working with like a, uh, a, 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 a law firm or a social justice firm that's doing death penalty work and just doing some support work and all that, but really much more as a, as a you know, kind of a occasional project rather than the kind of nonstop demand of the legal profession. I'm also excited because we're evolving Black Label Movement into something I want it to, be, to become, which is an art collective as part of this idea that Black Label Movement isn't just about my work, it's about the movers' work and how do we foster um, their creativity in this as well. Whoa.